Y'all, it's been a minute. What? Where have I been? I've been inconsistent. That's where I've been. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. It is forever your girl, I'm Alohi, and I am back with another video. Whether you are new or you are true, I just wanna thank you for coming by my corner of the internet and I hope you subscribe and stay a while. All right, y'all, so it is Valentine's Day. Put your bees up, put your bees up, ay, put your bees up, ay, put your bees up, put your... Aside from that, y'all, it is Valentine's Day, my favorite holiday. Love is in the air. Mwah. Aside from the romantic love, I just love Valentine's Day because it's the celebration of the love itself. I also like Valentine's Day because it's a cute excuse to get real dot up. I wanted to do something special, something fun. So I'm going to do inner child, pleasing and satisfying themed Valentine's Day look. I don't know why, like, it just popped up into my mind like that, like light bulb on the head type moment. And I thought about my childhood obsession, which was strawberry shortcake. So I thought like, oh my God, those are like the Valentine's Day like colors. Why can't I just combine my two loves and create like my own little idea baby? So that's what I'm doing today. Just to be clear, this is not you know makeup tutorial i'm just showing you what i do <laughs> this is just my interpretation if strawberry shortcake was a cute black girl living in south texas in the year 2022 essentially this is going to be like a get ready with me valentine's day edition v-day edition all right y'all but before we get into it i need y'all to like that like button because that's that good good that helped my channel grow without doing too much more talking taking up any more of y'all's time let's okay so y'all know me i'm starting off with a nice bare and moisturized face i'm just gonna start with my primer but y'all what the heck i've missed y'all like i've missed i've missed youtubing i've missed being a youtuber I don't know if y'all have noticed or can see, but this is my first newly recorded video on my brand new camera. Ah! So exciting. So, so exciting. Like, but I was using my iPhone, which is cool. Like iPhone quality, don't even and play with her. But iPhone storage, yeah i'm trying to get my digital life in order like i've been organizing my stuff the files on my computer i'm trying to take reign of my life i'm trying to pull it together it is slowly but surely happening we thank god god is still working on me girl but yeah i've just been taking a lot of time to try and get a lot of things like personal things like just in order and it's nothing like huge, but I just feel like I'm taking on a lot more responsibility in my life. Where I want to go, what I want to do, who I want to be, what I want to pursue, who gonna come with me, um, the kind of person I want to become, all of the things, you know, all the existential questions. And you can't do that with no messy ass, like everything. I feel like I just needed to get organized and more militant in order to kind of like achieve the perfection that I'm striving for. So that way I can produce and give out the content that I know I'm capable of giving out, producing all the things, right? Yeah, so that's me y'all. That's why I've been MIA. I'm also, I'm reading this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's really, honestly, an excellent book. He's written some real stuff. Like, it's very existential. It's not just like, it talks, it frames habits as this thing that we don't just pick up and do. It's about the kind of person that we really want to become. And I think that that is so important. Oh my goodness, and happy Black History Month. What the fuck? Happy Black History Month. Oh my God. To my brothers and sisters. 
February is just such a good month. Like, it's like what I saw on Twitter. It was like January was the free trial. The new year really starts in February. So if your resolution was already falling off last month, it's okay, girl. You still got time. February's the real. How's the eyebrow coming? She a little patchy, but it's fine. Enough about me. Let's talk about Valentine's Day. I know there are some Valentine's Day haters out there. I don't really get it. Oh, I hate everything type thing. So I hate Valentine's Day and love too. <laughs> lame, boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. I think that shit is so lame. Like, you know, I can understand if like folks who have like been devoid of like really, really good, like, genuine love um and care get irritated by this holiday like that's the only excuse i'm willing to accept <laughs> oh, please don't get it twisted i am not just talking about <sighs> i mean i'm not just talking about romantic love i'm talking about platonic and familial love like people who are very confused about the definition which is fair because people will beat you i mean sorry like trigger warning my goodness but people will lay their hands on you and talk about i love you or like cuss you out and be talking about some, I love you though. Or never support you, but talking about, I love you. Like, yes, that can be very confusing. I feel very privileged to have known real love in my lifetime. Like familial, platonic, romantic. If you've never experienced that or know what that really is about, like, why the f do you like Valentine's Day? Like. Another thing is that in our society, they overhype and like over prioritize romantic love and romantic relationships. And again, boo, tomato, tomato, I'm throwing tomatoes. Like that is so, we get brainwashed and like told to believe these things about love that like romantic love and love from an intimate partnership usually heterosexual and, and monogamous um is like the ultimate form of love like that is like the end goal like your life is not fulfilled until you experience that like, what you see on all the tv shows is what you see in the movies it's what you read in the books like and when you never have that people think that there's something wrong with them or that that they're not desirable or that they're undeserving of love and it's like wow that is just so not even like that's not even the case like for me my love for valentine's day goes back to literally being a little tyke a tyke not a when we were like in elementary school and like we would like go get those little candies from like and pass out to our classmates. Don't y'all remember that? And everyone in class got one and everyone got that chance to feel appreciated and loved on and like valued. Maybe I'm reading to it a little deep, but it's special. Like that's a special time to like let people know like I appreciate you and your existence. Here is a Jolly Rancher with a little Snoopy card on it. Like I love, <laughs> I think that is like, if that's not love, I don't know what is. <laughs> This whole idea that society perpetuates that like romantic love, the love of your life is gonna be like this other person. Like you'll find all your joy and happiness and answers once you achieve this romantic like love and partnership. For me, the journey of this world, when are you gonna achieve that ultimate self love, that ultimate self respect and like self worth that like you are that you are that nigga that you say you are and you treat yourself as such. Like, that's my goal. Girl, I'm my own Valentine, are you kidding? I mean, I may go out and do a little something, something with a little boo or whoever, but at the end of the day, like, <laughs> I'm celebrating Valentine's Day for me, honey. It's like that very problematic line from that very problematic person. You can't love yourself. How in the hell you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? And although the line is controversial, I've seen people debate. They've been like, that's not true. Stop making it seem like people are not worthy of love until they reach this like ultimate nirvana self-enlightenment experience like i mean sure true i get the argument it's like don't deprive yourself of love and experiences and opportunities and chemistry with people because you're like just trying to be so focused and so like i'm gonna achieve this buddha ultimate like enlightenment the one status 
before I allow myself to experience good things. Like, no, 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 wrong message. Like, back it on up. It's not about that. It's more like you don't have a standard of love for yourself that you that you establish and treat yourself in a certain kind of way that reflects the kind of love that you are deserving of, then you just might fall for anything or anyone. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong though. Tell me I'm wrong. I mean, you can tell me I'm wrong, but I will, that's how I see it. And you can be in situations with people where you learn to love yourself in the process. Like people, I've heard things all the time where it's like, people are grateful for their partners because they showed them like what real love can feel like like real external wholehearted love can be and i with that that is super cool i just feel like the way this world is set up <laughs> and the way the way i know people the way i know them your best bet is to give it to yourself first and that's just that on that. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I just needed to do my lashes off cam and I also contoured. So now I'm gonna hit my face with high, heavy blush. Yes, ma'am. So in past like the cute, fun, and fuzzy feelings that love gives us, my relationship with the concept of love has really just expanded. Um, to this whole praxis, particularly after I read All About Love by Bell Hooks. Like, Bell Hooks really described love as this like revolutionary practice in this world that is so loveless and misconstrues our idea of love. Like, one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves is defining love for who we are and what we need. And it's not just like, oh yeah, I feel loved when baby rub my feet. It's like love is about care and loyalty and honesty and it's spiritual and all these other very deep concepts and things. And like I said, it's revolutionary. It's a whole practice. You can move and live and act with love. Like it's not just, again, I feel love when baby give me kiss. It's like, I love you and I want you to survive. So I advocate for you and I ensure your life. Like I want you to have the food and the comfortability and the friendships and all the good things to cultivate a good and loving life. That is like, I literally have the book with me now, all worn down. So because I have the book with me, how about I just flip to a random page and I read one of like the highlighted quotes. So I open to page 53. It says, when we can see ourselves as we truly are and accept ourselves, we build the necessary foundation for self-love. I love that. Self-love cannot flourish in isolation. It is no easy task to be self-loving. It leaves many people wondering why, if it is so easy, they continue to be trapped by feelings of low self-esteem or self-hatred. When we see love as a combination of trust, commitment, care, respect, knowledge, and responsibility, we can work on developing these qualities, or if they are already a part of who we are, we can learn to extend them to ourselves. You see, wasn't that what I was just preaching and talking and saying and preaching and saying? I mean, but I learned that from the OG, the GOAT, the hooks. Like, if you want to learn about love past the superficial crap that's on mainstream media, read this book. It is, Bell Hooks is, she's that girl. Like, don't ever play with my sis. Okay, so I've put on the blush heavy. I'm going to give myself a few freckles. I'm gonna be using this Maybelline brow gel because it's in this like nice, good, dark brown color. And just the end of this pencil because it's like a nice, good, blunted end. And I'm just gonna lightly dot around my face. So with all that being said, I'm very curious as to what y'all's um, V-Day plans are gonna look like. Are you gonna spend it loving on yourself? You got a little boo. What y'all finna do? Go eat. How are you all going to show love and appreciation for yourselves? So I think now I tend to do this real quick. 
I tend to be really outpouring onto other people. And don't get me wrong, I'm the kind of person who's very self-loving. Still though, like, so easy to wanna do for other people like that, so quick. You just wanna, like, you just wanna be everything to somebody, right? But it's so, I don't wanna say more, but it's really worthwhile being that to yourself. And in that way, you don't have to feel like you lack, you know? Because you really don't. Um, again, it's just like the stories that we tell ourselves and to give it a little realness. I'm like lightly going over it with my sponge. I guess one of the reasons why <laughs> it annoys me when people are just so caught up on romantic love and again, I know I'm speaking from a very privileged place. Thing is, for me though, I've never been the kind of person who is like out looking for a partner. And it just reminds me of this TikTok and this girl's like, why you, I'm gonna try and find the video. Why you hoes act like if you ain't no relationship, y'all gonna die? Stand up, stand up. Yeah, I, <laughs> I hear her, I hear her. It's cause the truth of it is like, you can't be putting out that, oh God, I'm gonna sound annoying, but I just feel like you can't be putting out that hyper desperate energy because then you're gonna get a hyper desperate result. Yeah, like you just want it to be something authentic and natural and real. Like that's, that is what I want for my girls, like. I don't want y'all chasing behind nobody. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Cause you don't have to. You really don't have to. Don't you know you that girl? Oh, you're that girl I knew you were, right? Like, it's, everybody operates differently, but I don't know. Me, I'ma just do me until the right person come around. I'm not compromising my boundaries, my wants, nor my needs for nobody. Per. Okay, y'all, I'm done with my look. And I'm gonna put on my, well, y'all gonna get ready with me, okay? Okay, y'all, get dressed with me. So, I'm wearing some Abercrombie and Fitch wide leg jeans this cute strawberry top from shein i have this bag my girl strawberry she has this like fringe going with her hat so i'm gonna show y'all how i'm gonna do that This is my complete and final look. My white Air Forces. Okay y'all, that concludes my Valentine's Day get ready with me. So if you like this video, make sure y'all hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Follow the links in the description to follow me and find me on the different dimensions. Y'all stay blessed. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you next time. Peace.